Viviana and today we're two years natural. Well, not really today, we're like two days shy because I did reach up on October 31st, 2015 and today is the 29th but we can start the celebration from now. Guys, you wouldn't even understand. I remember when I just reached out how I was just yearning for this time. Oh, let me catch my breath. I mean, at that time when I had my little TWA, I would have scored through videos on one year natural, two years natural, three years natural, just to project and envision what my hair would look like at that stage and <laughs> Trust me, I am not disappointed. <laughs> no, sir. That turned up for serious. Oh, catch your breath, babe. Catch your breath. <laughs> so if you haven't seen my last natural hair update, which was six months ago, I'm going to assume that you're new here. So, hey, welcome. And what I'm going to ask you to do is just, other than subscribing, is to check out the last update video I did six months ago so that you can see what was my plans for the last six months of my natural hair journey. It basically just made watching this video a little nicer. So I'll be here waiting, don't worry. So I decided to style my hair in a regular plain wash and go just for a comparison reasons and <laughs> wow as many of you might know already when I just be chopped I hated my hair and it took a while for me to get used to my hair and to really look in the mirror right now and and love my hair it's like the last few months my hair has passed this threshold in my natural hair journey my hair is finally long enough to do so many <laughs> more styles to it. I can finally actually catch my hair up in one, in a ponytail, and uh, yeah, I feel limitless with the amount of styles I can do with my hair. I mean, <laughs> that's clearly evident by the amount of tutorials I've been putting out lately, right? <laughs> I'm just finally glad for all the options, okay? So, yeah, the first year short TWA and the awkward length, great stage, love it, but <laughs> bye bye, I don't miss it, all right? <laughs> so, even though I've tried many different styles with my hair, I would say that for this past year, my go to style is still my wash and go. And I don't know, it's not people don't think that my curl pattern looks good in our show and go. I love my wash and go. I still do think my hair grows slow, but because my hair won't shrink up like the average natural, the full length of my hair is able to show with my hair just like this. <laughs> with my wash and go, my hair is comfortably sitting on my shoulders. For my newbies, my length check is usually a separate short comparison video and when that video is posted, I'll have it linked up in the iCards for you to watch. But in the meantime, I suggest you watch the last length check videos so that you can get excited with me too when you see my new length. So other than styling and everything like that, my hair regimen has definitely changed, so I need to do a updated hair regimen. Um, I have been using shampoos a lot more often. As a matter of fact, I have not used my clay wash mix for the past six to eight weeks. And I purposely did that because I wanted to see how my hair would react um, without bentonite clay and basically because I have found a shampoo that works with my hair and does not leave my hair stripped dry and brittle my hair is not stripped dry and brittle 
because trust me when you're using a shampoo that leaves your hair dry and brittle and hard to manage it's almost as if the rest of your regimen just don't make no sense because your hair is just going to continuously be dry and brittle and I went through that stage before and I'm glad it's over with but the only thing that has really changed is my curl pattern my curl pattern has become a lot looser from not using bentonite clay. Basically, my hair is back to its original post big chop curl pattern. Well, <laughs> lack of curl pattern. The only difference is my hair is not dry and brittle at the same time. I know some of y'all might think that bentonite clay would have loosened my curl pattern, but for this head of hair, bentonite clay was actually defining my curl pattern. So after doing without it for the past eight weeks, <laughs> I have definitely confirmed that. And yeah, I'm going to start going back to using it every three to four weeks in my regimen because a girl like popping curls, okay? And it defines what's already there for me. Oh. And talking about my hair regimen, I am slowly coming out of being a product junkie. Okay, <laughs> that is a lie. I am actually itching to buy some new products I see out on the market, but I am using up the products I already have in my stash. And I think I'm doing a really, really good job at that too. And it has me feeling very accomplished so I think I'm always going to be excited to buy new hair products but it feels good to have your core products on hand you gotta have your big products all right the products you can always count on the products that won't let you down okay the products that when the others screw up they have got your Next update, my hair is still virgin, okay? <laughs> yes. After two years of being natural, my hair has never been colored and it has never been directly touched with heat. But that's about to change soon. So I know in my last update, I had said I was planning to straighten my hair and to also color my hair and clearly I haven't done that as yet. However, I am I am actually going to be doing it in the next couple of weeks give me a couple months all right I'm planning to blow dry my hair before the end of the year one because I kind of want to see my hair blow dry just just for the heck of it and two my hair need a good trim single strand knots are all up and through this hair and I have been seriously ignoring them for the last many months <laughs> but they are at a point now where I actually need to address them and clip them out of my hair so yeah that virgin cherry is about to be popped because I am going to blow dry my hair for the first time hopefully before the end of the year and yeah get it trimmed and about me coloring my hair, I bought henna. It's going to be my first time putting any type of color in my hair and my first time trying out henna. And it's pretty scary considering the stories I hear about it. I hear that it leaves your hair dry and it acts like a protein treatment, a strong protein treatment. So that is making me very, very nervous because I am protein sensitive. So even though henna is not actually protein, um my hair can't take the dry feeling all right me can't take it so if you have any tips and tricks for me on using inner me i'm gonna please leave it down in the comment section and help your girl out because i am scared i am nervous but i need to be excited at the same time so that is it two years natural <laughs> up in the 
my cards knock knock time already so yeah check it out and if you like what you see you can subscribe so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to give me a thumbs up and also remember to share the video yeah okay beauties later it's about my hair shape See you. I mean, are you even natural if you haven't done a puff or a mohawk? Or is the correct term fauxhawk? Frohawk! In my head, I have 